Ooh, 20 miles, 20 miles to go till the finish. And this is the last intersection on the course for the french fry and the baked potato. And this um, little side diversion is definitely a really chunky section of trail. You get off this nice smooth um, road, but it's really beautiful. And actually with these kind of headwinds that are typical in the afternoon, it actually bumps you out of the wind a little bit and you get some protection from the trees. You know, for those of you who haven't done a lot of off-road or bumpier roads on your gravel bike, you're gonna be amazed at what your bike can do when you ride this section. Kind of looking at stuff like this thinking, no way, but there are people that finished this course in 2019 and came out and they're like, I've never ridden anything like that on my gravel bike. I think maybe one technique when it is kind of chunky and bumpy like this is to just try to relax and be smooth. You know, your bike's gonna bump over this stuff, but your body above the bike can be a smooth pedal stroke, smooth as possible right through that stuff. You're looking at these hills and wondering what that thing that looks like a ski run is. That's actually an avalanche chute. So snow has come down there and cleared all the trees out. So right here, right as the mountain really comes into view, let's take a right turn and head back towards Ketchum. So don't miss this turn. So. Remember, bent elbows, bent knees. You wanna ride this technical gravel stuff a little bit like a mountain bike. So your arms and legs are your suspension, pick smooth lines, and the bike will roll over more than you think. If you're not used to descending in your drops, I recommend you practice it for this course. It really does give you better control, better leverage on the brakes, and so, little steep hill, good run out though. One thing to think about in this real loose, chunky stuff is braking ahead of the loose stuff. You try to apply the brakes and all those chunks, you're just gonna slide. But the course is in really good shape right now. Steep little hill here, so make sure you downshift. If you need to walk, walk. No big deal. Sometimes walking's just as fast. I think this is the last of the really steep little hills. And it's short. Just find a good line, pace yourself. And like I said, if you need to walk, walk. Got a drink, got a snack if you're walking. Sometimes it's just as fast to hike a bike and get some nutrition in. Rolling up to the finish of the El Diablito section, mile 87. There is where we are right now. And we join, join right back with the French fry route and the way that we came out. Wasn't so bad, huh? I love that little section in the trees. I also really love coming back out, seeing the valley and the expanse. And there's our main road out there. You can hear we're back out into the wind now. 